what's up guys welcome back to dan reviews and today we're going to be doing a different type of video um kind of a discussion type video kind of a more chilled video today and today we're going to be talking about my opinion my personal opinion on the one and only spider-man so i mean god spider-man i mean he is out there he's been out there for so just the longest time he has comic books, he has movies, he has action figures, I mean, he has everything. Spider-Man, for me, is, I would say, more popular than he deserves. I would definitely say that. And I feel like he gets maybe a little bit of too much support than what he actually really is when you really look at it. Um, I was able to find one, just one of my Spider-Man figures, I actually have a few, this is probably like the worst one. It's actually just like a random toy. It's not actually one of the Marvel Legend ones. So, excuse that, collectors. But, I mean, I am a collector as well. Maybe I'll show off some more of my Spider-Man. I couldn't even do a Spider-Man collection. I literally have that many Spider-Mans. Uh, I just picked a random one. <laughs> Happened to be the worst one, I guess. So, um, yeah. But anyway, the infamous Spider-Man. And also, we got... Uh, I do have... I, I don't buy many Spidey comics but i do have one uh had to have an exception and it's probably this is the best spider-man comic out there this is the amazing spider-man um you know who am i uh love it love it love it love it and uh, definitely when it comes to a character like spider-man you have to you have to enjoy um you know the, the way that he is interpreted because otherwise you're just not gonna like him for me personally, I feel like Spider-Man, like I said, is way too popular than he maybe deserves. Um, I really feel like Spider-Man uh, needs to be uh, more kind of, I don't know, I feel like he's really just, he's too popular and he's not as good as you might think because... Uh, you know, you got the you got the web thing, right? You know, the uh, infamous web, uh, which is cool. Uh, you know, but I mean, really, it's not that great uh, because again, even though Spider Man is a great character, I mean, he is. Look at you know, if you can take a look at that right there, um, there it's a great comic book. I just feel like he's kind of. Um, He's just not that great of a character. Um, and I think mainly, I think the thing that really gets me when it comes to Spider-Man, that really kicks me down and, and, and when it comes to the opinion, Spider-Man, oh my god, he is just, there's nothing else to say aside from the fact he doesn't have that many superpowers. Um, you know, and even though you can make a case for Batman and DC Universe, you know, Spider-Man really, he's not that, he's not that great. He's really not. And, um, also, he's, the movies are, I mean, they're, they're just okay. They're really not that great. Um, and I definitely, I think that when you buy, uh, like, you know, uh, a figure of Superman or you buy one of the Blu-rays of any of the movies he's done, and uh, any of the comics, and it's just, it doesn't feel as great of a superhero as you may think. And why, again, why I'm saying that is because you have characters like a anybody from X-Men, literally anybody you can, uh, you know, put a case for, anybody from X-Men would beat Spider-Man. I mean, that's just that simple. And, again, you can have characters like, um... God, who who would I uh, com you know compare to Spider Man? If you want to talk Wolverine versus Spider Man, there might be a chance. There 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 could be, but pretty much you pretty much have a a guarantee that Wolverine is gonna win. Uh, you're not gonna have Wolverine in uh, you know always beating you know and always always winning in fights. But for this one, it's just necessary. Absolutely necessary. Um, and when it comes to the comic books, they're okay. I've read I've read some of them. They're they're okay. And uh, they're, he's just not as great as you might think. Now also, Spider-Man really... You want to talk Deadpool versus Spider-Man. 
I mean, come on. That that is just not comparable. Not at all. Uh, there's no comparison. You just can't do it. Uh, even Cyclops. Like, seriously. Even Cyclops versus Spider-Man. Who's more popular? Obviously, you gotta go with Spider-Man. But when it comes to the, the whole idea. I mean, come on. And when it comes to Superman, when it comes to, I mean, oh, God, who else have I, you know, haven't I mentioned? Uh, Sentry. Even, yeah, even Sentry. Um, you know, uh, Machine Man, another one. I mean, oh, man. It's just unbelievable how many characters can beat Superman or Spider-Man. But he seems to be more popular. I just don't get that. And I think that's why I'm, I don't like Spider-Man that much. Um... That might be the pretty much the only reason why. Because, I mean, aside from that, he's pretty cool. I mean, he's pretty cool. You know, the outfit's amazing. Um, you got the black Superman as well, which is amazing. I have to figure that, too. Um, but, uh, you know, I just, I don't, I don't feel uh, like it's, it's really, no. It's, it's just not, uh, it, it doesn't work. So, um... As cool as it is, and as cool as his outfit might seem, as cool as any anything you might think of him, as cool as the you know the comic books are, you just again you can't say he's the best superhero. Can't do it. Now, um, I think the main reason why too, little kids. That's like the first superhero they pretty much hear about. At least that was the first superhero my friend heard about when he was like four. Apparently, he heard about Spider Man before he ever heard about any other superhero. Um, and, I mean, when it comes to me, pretty much the same, you know, uh, you got the, you know, the Spider-Man, Spider-Man, it just, it, it's, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not as great as any Batman movies, even, I, I have to say, against any Batman movies, you're, you're, you're out, you're, you're, you're lost, so, um, not to offend anybody that likes Spider-Man. I just feel like he's not as good as um, Deadpool, Wolverine, Batman. You know, he's okay by himself. I mean, really, if you just, if he was like, you know, just by himself as a character, I think this would be uh, amazing. I, I think I wouldn't judge him at all. But I think the thing that really pins him down is because y you see all these different characters with all the different superpowers and everything, and then you get this. You know, it's kind of, um, it's a real, it's a real, uh, step down, I guess you could say. And definitely when it comes to, uh, Spider-Man, I just don't feel like he's gonna win this one. So, yeah, um, now, again, when it comes to, uh, any character, absolutely any character, especially when you're talking about Joker, oh my god, <laughs> if you possibly think that Spider-Man can beat up Joker... Again, I just get out of here. When you think Deadpool can beat Spider-Man, again, out of here. Just, just, oh man. Um, like I said though, he is more popular. He, he is, he's way more popular. But when it comes to him versus characters, it really brings him down. And that's probably why I'm being so harsh on Spider-Man. Just my opinion. So, um, and again, the movies... They're not as great as, um, even, God, even Man of Steel, I, I think, uh, is, was, was better than Spider-Man movies. Anyway, guys, that's my opinion on Spider-Man. I just don't feel like he's that great of a character. And I feel like there's more better characters out there. And in terms of who are the best characters out there in television, you got Tom, you got Deadpool, you got Joker, you got, in my opinion, Batman is pretty good. And, uh, you know, you got characters like Superman. Yeah, even Superman, I do. I like Superman quite a bit, you know. Um, definitely, when it comes to some of my favorite characters in any uh, TV history or any universe, um, I'd have to put Joker up there. I'd have to put uh, Batman, Superman, Deadpool, um, you know, um, Cyclops, really. Um, you know, Wolverine, um, War Machine, yeah, Iron Man. Uh, Captain America, Hulk, absolutely. Uh, you know, even characters like uh, from other shows, like um, God, who else? Um, you know, uh, 
Goku from from Dragon Ball, you know, um, Vegeta, you know, uh, Negan, Rick, Daryl, you know, you got so many other characters from many other series that it's really, when you bring it all down to Spider-Man, sorry, you know, it's just, it's not, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to quit my rambling, <laughs> so, uh, but I want, I just, no one really requested this, I want to do it, because Spider-Man is a known character, he's out there, cool, uh, do I like him? Sure, you know, sure, I'll, I'll watch uh, any of the new movies he has or anything like that. But I don't have high expectations for any of his movies, comics. Um, yeah, it just, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get me. When I hear, you know, when I first heard about, you know, uh, Batman v Superman, it's going to come out in a couple of months. Or uh, uh, Civil War, that's going to come out in a few months, it's going to be really good. Or uh, Suicide Squad, it's coming out really soon. I get so much more excited than I would for another Spider-Man movie. You know, it just doesn't, doesn't do anything. Um, absolutely just doesn't do anything. So, yeah, um, I understand, guys, if you might be a little offended, because some of you might like Spider-Man. But for me, this is how it is, uh, in my opinion. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, Spider-Man. Do you think he's the best superhero? I won't, I'm not judging anyone. Just saying, it's my opinion. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Spider-Man is. It's not. He's not as great of a character as some people might make him seem. So, yep. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.